चक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्य कोटि समप्रभा निर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सर्वकार्यु सर्वदा गुरुर्ब्रह्म गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम तस्म श्री गुरव नम कैन गेट टू फोकस रईट कॉर्डिनेटर निधेद्यावरोगिणा गुरव सर्वोका दक्षिणमूर्त नम सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणल करुणाल नमा भगवत्दशंकोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बदरायण सूत्रभाष्यकत वंदे भगवत ईश्वर गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिणे व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणमूर्त नम अपार करुणा सिंधु ज्ञानद शात श्रीचंद्रशेखर गुरु प्रणमा मुदा महम ओ यम ब्रह्म वरुणेन्द्र रुद्र मरता स्तुन्वि दिव्य स्तम वेद सांगपदक्रमोपनिषदर्गायतीदेन मनसा पश्य यम योगिश्या दुस्सुरा सुरगण देवाय तस्म नम देवाय तस्म नम ओं श्रीकृष्णा परमात्म नम अथ श्रीमद्भगवद्गीता तृतीयोध्याय कर्मयोग ओं नारायण परो व्यक्ता अंडम व्यक्त संभव अंड सी मे लोका सप्तद्वीपा च मेदिनी ओ Now we will chant shloka number nine, chapter number three. Let's again you come. Okay, we will teach chapter number three, shloka number nine. Shri Bhagavan Uvacha Yajnyarthat Karmanon Yatra Loko Yam Karma Bandhana Tadartham Karma Kaunteya Mukta Sangha Samachara. चैंट अनुरा श्री भगवान उवाच यो नोको कर्म बंधन तदर्थ कर्म कौंते मुक्त संग वेरी गुड लेट्स ऑल ऑफ स्टैंड टुगेदर श्री भगवान उवाच यो न लोको यम कर्म बंधन तदर्थम कर्म कौंते मुक्त संग सचर ओं शांति 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 सो वेंकटराम सर शुभसदा बैक इन मुंबई है काकी नाटा पे टोटेला वेरी गुड ना सिस्टमैटिक वेरी वेरी नाइस सो इज बीकिंग ग्रेट प्रोग्रेस वेरी नाइस गुड Now today we will start systematic study of the third chapter. All of you should have the text with you. Whoever has not got the text, please make sure you download today itself. I am going to go through how nicely the third chapter is organized with the help of the notes that are there in front of you. Hopefully, all of you have the notes. Who doesn't have the notes? You can put your message in the chat box, and we are going to go through. how to study the bhagavad gita now to study the bhagavad gita actually you should have a good background of upanishads because bhagavad gita is what essence of all upanishads sarvo upanishado gabaha dogdha gopala nandana partho vatsa sudhir bhokta dugdham gita amritam mahat who doesn't have no notes other volunteers please help them what all to do to download the notes just don't get it just like that you have to go to the website and select the books and download them please follow instructions given clearly okay now since we all don't have enough of background of upanishads the way bhagwan takes us from the beginning till the 18th chapter is a wonderful journey of human kind please understand Bhagavad Gita is the scripture of mankind. 
cutting across all barriers of religion race gender whatever no profession age whatever everybody can study gita and what is the final goal of bhagavad gita goal of bhagavad gita is eternal happiness here and now if you got any doubt please go and listen to the lecture birds i view of bhagavad gita that is there in our brahma vidya foundation youtube channel somebody can give the link please make sure that you go through that one hour session the power pack lecture where it will explain to you how beautifully entire upanishad tattvamasi mahavakyam is weaved into bhagavad gita but to understand that you have to embark on a systematic study of bhagavad gita and so bhagavan takes a wonderful approach he gives the final goal itself initially you sir no ha huh? parashuraman sir what is the final goal atma gnanam bhagavan introduces initially in second chapter itself so that you don't forget the goal of life and that should be constantly remembered throughout your journey of life and throughout the 18 chapters that is the underlying principle that is what we are working towards already what i'm saying atma gnanam very good venkatram sir correct but what is atma gnanam atma gnanam is aham brahma asmi <laughs> i am pure consciousness na mahapuriya said only for these three words aham brahma asmi entire vedanta shastra entire upanishad all the shastras are proceeding in so many different ways to explain that and bhagavan is explaining only in less than 700 shlokas this wonderful no reality of your true nature is being explained and to understand this one has to have the right mental attitude and study the shastra systematically so bhagavan is guiding us step by step how to reach the ultimate goal this realization that aham brahmasmi is called gnanam correct atma gnanam and the path is called gnana margam and the practice sadhana is called gnana yoga clear so far you're clear and by now you should be very clear that we cannot jump into gnana yoga without doing karma yoga yes or no so what are the three principles that we have stated today's class notes has been put what is the orientation for the class has been put today's class what is because chain okay very good also you put the before that the text is there no we should buy the book that you please put all put that also kalam alman put both for benefit of people who are all new okay how to buy the book and all this put there okay okay so what are the three commandments that we have made first is without karma yoga dhyana yoga is not possible correct hari panama correct no you got the principle three principles second principle is what without gnana yoga or getting aham brahmasmi gnanam all your effort of karma yoga will not be useful ishwar good evening nice to nice to see you okay without gnana yoga karma yoga is incomplete and most importantly without karma neither karma yoga nor gnana yoga is possible kiran goparaj clear no three principles are there for you to have the fundamental building block for karma yoga the third chapter now all of you please open the textbook open your two eyes open your two ears and listen and read and study the shastras atma gnanam cannot be obtained by closing the eyes and just listening there are some people who say you don't need to study any book just close the eyes and keep on listening atma gnanam definitely will not come adare shravana manana nidhi dhyasana would not have been prescribed where you go to the teacher ask question and clarify the doubts okay now in the first page of the 12 page notes of the textbook see beautifully every chapter has got a goal see every chapter takes you systematically to the next level so that you get the proficiency and the capability to get atma gnanam malati madam suprabhatam purijal ya it is like imagine 18 steps okay 18 uh, classes mari vechukonga from first standard from lkg or pre school one second third fourth you go after you finish 
years of schooling, you get graduation or no, whatever that thing. Like that, you go step by step. Understand, in every standard, you've got some syllabus, no? Like that, every chapter has got a syllabus. And what we have done in Brahma Vidya is taken a systematic approach to study the Bhagavad Gita, which you will not get anywhere. You can search all over internet, all over YouTube, anywhere, no text will give you. So for, please download this text so that it will be your guiding principle. And together with the class lectures and other notes you make, it's a wonderful combination for you to get the understanding of Gita very well. And once you learn properly, it will be with you for life. Please understand, knowledge is power. Knowledge is what is going to make you very confident to face the entire world. Because you know what is right. You know what Bhagavan has taught us. Nobody need to tell you what is right, what is wrong. Follow the Gita, follow Bhagavan. And nobody can cheat you, nobody can fool you. Nobody can say, give me $100, I will teach you how to do breathing. You'll get honestly fooled. Somebody will say, come and attend a silent scam, pay $500. So please understand, you will not get fooled by all these unnecessary things. Study the Gita, Shastram, and you own the knowledge. It is not somebody trying to preach. In the morning I told, it is teaching. It is Bhagavan's teaching. Teaching is different from preaching. So what is the two goals? Now all of you have got a text in front of you. You can be very interactive. Focus on the text. What are the two goals of the third chapter? The first goal is... What? Anybody who is going to do? Fastest finger first. Who is going to do first in the, in the chat box? Very, it should be interesting and enjoyable. Gita study should not be boring. Nagarat sir. Supermatham, you are in India and uh, still in the US. Huh? Put in the chat box. Okay. No, no, first chapter is understand karma yoga completely. That is very important. Every word is yeah, Ravi put correct. That means what? Why completely? In the second chapter, Bhagavan gave an overview, bird's eye view of karma yoga was given. That is being expanded in the third chapter. Got it? See, the second chapter has got everything. What are the aspects of the second chapter? That one should surrender to a guru. Unless you become a shishya, you will not get a guru. Unless you get a guru, you will not get the teaching. So Arjuna Sharanagati was a concept, right? Then Bhagavan's ex explanation of what? Atman, Atman. What is Atman? Ten commandments. Then to understand Atman, Bhagavan then embarked upon Karma Yoga. And before that, briefly he said, both from dharmic standpoint and laukic standpoint, one has to do actions. All that is explained. Correct? I'm refreshing. Second chapter. Every now you should refresh, no? Every five years you paint the house. Like that, every now and then you should refresh the brain. Gita Shastram. Okay? Now, <clears throat> so what is the first goal? Understand Karma Yoga completely. Then, after understanding Karma Yoga, you will say, Hare Baba, I should do Karma Yoga continuously in life. Why am I not doing karma yoga? That question will come to your mind. Second goal, Bhagavan is answering all your inner call. Let me tell you, you study Gita sincerely, systematically, all your questions, all your doubts will be answered with Bhagavan. That bhavana you have, Bhagavan is coming and teaching Gita to me through the Gita Shastram. And every doubt will be answered. So the second goal is, why am I not able to do karma yoga? Why is that I am ending up doing wrong actions. What is the root cause for wrong actions? And what solution should I put in place so that I can come back to path of karma yoga? Clear, no? See, Vidarajan Bunjara, Indumati, you understood, no? See, Bhagavan is saying you have to follow karma yoga. And we understand what is karma yoga in detail. First goal is achieved. Na? Nagaraj doctor, correct? Ah? Next, the question will arise. Why am I not able to do karma yoga? Bhagavan himself gives the reasons why we are not systematically following karma yoga. And the greatness of Bhagavan is he does not only say the cause, the reason for us not following karma yoga, but also the solutions. And the solution always is a bit difficult. Unless you take difficult steps in life, you will not get long-lasting solutions. So goal two, now write, what is the goal two? Let's put it in the page number one. Understanding the root cause for wrong actions. That means what? Understanding the root cause for not doing karma yoga. That's what you should say. Why are we not doing karma yoga? 
and what is the solution so that we all want to become karma yogi so all of you stand camera divya shastri vinod vinod anapa what happened vinod huh? uh, so all of us at the end of the third chapter should have a fair idea that our first goal should be to become a karma yogi and what is karma yoga karma yoga is nothing but right action plus right attitude so far clear now <clears throat> the concepts we'll go we will now take the first concept under the first goal called understanding karma yoga completely the first concept is why karma yoga why karma yoga because karma yoga is a stepping stone for the ultimate goal of life which is called as moksha or eternal happiness so you go to the first you go to the page number 3 our illustration team has done a wonderful job of giving you pictorially how you can climb the steps 1 2 3 and the fourth step is moksha see in front of you moksha is there sir no ina revi da ke correct ah eduke moksha iruke why don't you go and take it so easy right so first you do proper action karma physical action it is called pravritti dharma what is pravritti dharma by nature we are forced into action yes or no can anybody sit down silently in one place nobody can sit in one place silently correct ah it so happened in one temple okay there was a rule that whatever prasadam is done in the morning it will be distributed to all the committee members okay okay yeah, so they were distributing then <coughs> there was one swami ar swami ji na rajendran sir one swami ar who was not doing anything he was only morning he'll come right from abhishekam till the end of all he'll be sitting silently in front of swami no bhagavan adara gondar par he was also given food so the committee member were doing this for many years suddenly one new president was elected he came to the committee and then he reviewed i want to do proper cost cutting i want to do efficiency only who do work we should be given phalam prasadam and all so i want to who are getting prasadam so he reviewed so okay this person is doing no all the flowers is bringing he is cleaning all that okay fine all that should be given then they found this samyar this mauna samyar is not talking anything not doing anything that person is being given being given food so this new president said cut off this so this person should not get anything because he is not contributing atmanathan na illa perla na brace pathila varuvanga they will all do all these drastic steps so then then the the state swami ji from now on no we will not give you any prasad they know the committee most has been there for a long time he told the president sir let us do one thing you please do what he is doing okay then you see whether he is eligible for the prasadam or not and what is he doing sitting silently in front of bhagwan two times a day morning and evening for 3 4 hours so i will do definitely what is the big deal so very, very simple very simple to sit silently so i will please come and sit with me silently so the person tried to sit 5 minutes 10 minutes na ravi putajanan how many how many minutes can we sit silently in one place after 15 20 minutes this person na kai udarudhu kaal udarudhu then suddenly he said sir i cannot do sir any get up and went he got up and went then he went to the committee and then said restless nature it is the most difficult thing to sit silently in one place from now on double prasadam for the swami ji na atunathan new rule pantare double prasadam for swami ji please understand so extremely difficult to sit silently pravritti dharma and why are we in action we are always in action because desire is making us act imagine if you don't have any desires you will not act because there is some desire lurking in the mind we always are acting everyone and upon correct ah so the beautiful manu manu spirit thejikonga manu says akamasya kriya khachit drishyate nehi karhi chit yadyadhi kurute jantuhu tat tat khamasya cheshtitam i don't know whether you put this subhashita in this particular text so many things will not be there in the text so attend the class akamasya kriya khachit write down for a person who has no desire where is action 
அகாமசிய கிரியா காச்சித்து திருஷ்யத்தே நைஹ கருகிச்சித்து ஒன் கேனாட் சி இனி ஆக்ஷன் இன் அ பர்சன் வாஸ் நோ டிசையர் எத்தி குருதே ஜந்து எத்தி குருதே ஜந்து வேற வேர் தெர் இஸ் ஆக்ஷன் தட் இஸ் சீன் ஆர்டர் <laughs> Website, as per the website, then you will get download the notes. Okay. I am looking for the person who is no, paid but not placed the order. Okay. So, what is happening? Yadhyadhi kurute jantuhu tatta. Very good. Tattat kamasya cheshtitam. Anybody who has got any problem, don't go. At the end of the class, I'll spend 10 minutes. I'll solve all the problems. Anybody who has got problems in downloading e-books. Today, I'll spend some time on that. Okay. So, don't forget this. All of you can you note down. Yadhyadhi kurute jantuhu tatta. அவித்தியாமெண்டல் ப்ராப்ளம் அவித்யா that i am not complete i need to do this i need to acquire this that avidya is driving desire and kama is you know driving uh, karma which is action so pravritti dharma so bhagavan says since by nature you are acting better do the right actions clear anyway you supposed to do action why don't do right action if you do wrong action you will get punished so he says do proper karma first then what next stage when you get maturity do karma as karma yoga you going to describe and understand in more detail when you do karma as karma yoga your mind will get purity only when you follow karma yoga systematically your mind you will know na thannen jarivathu poyalla what you understand about yourself can never be wrong others can have a wrong impression about you but if you sit down and analyze yourself what is going through my mind i am a calm person i have no given up bhagat dvesha to great extent i am able to sit down and study the shastras i am able to focus on moksha's highest goal in life parama purushartha moksha i am able to focus on that or not when you go in your internal journey you are the best judge in spirituality you don't need excellent judge you will have doubts to solve with the teacher but you should assess yourself clear ah so when you do karma yoga systematically you yourself will know that i am getting prepared for gnana yoga i saw this language i get prepared for gnana yoga now is the third step you go to gnana yoga study vedanta shastra which is called nivritti dharma the pravritti dharma will take you again and again into the world if you do only karma again and again and again you have to you have to undergo the, the result of the action so you will be born again and again that's called pravritti prakarshena vartate iti pravartate iti pravritti everything utpatti is there so you'll keep on a vicious circle correct asha madam but then you realize slowly that i need to get out of this vicious cycle a circle then you go to karma yoga then you go into gnana yoga then you go to nivritti dharma nivritti means what you go back to your source all of us originated from the supreme principle bhagavan please understand we are all nothing but an aspect of bhagavan actually advaita vedanta says you are actually brahman whether you like it or not want it or not believe it or not so your journey back to your source which is pure consciousness is when you desire very clearly that is what i want to do i want to end this never ending cycle of samsara then you will take to nivritti dharma or gnana yoga very seriously like this and study vedanta shastra systematically and then the culmination of that is gnanam aham brahmasmi anando brahmeti vyajanat pure bliss and that happiness is without anything you know aruna madam 
you don't need jangri you don't need jilebi you don't need even a temple to go to aarti you can be wherever you are you will be always happy and that is gnanam independent happiness very good in karma and karma yoga your happiness is still dependent on actions conditions situations surrounding that is the first stage please make sure the first gate is crossed then you go to the next one called independent happiness clear ah fine good very good now so in the goal one bhagwan has cleared arjuna's confusion arjuna was confused right which path to take should i go and land in gyana yoga straight away or should i do some karma so bhagwan is answering all the points you see follow karma path of action called pravritti dharma because by nature you are forced to act paranchi khani vetana payam bho tasma parang pashyati na antaratman kashchit dhiraha pratyagat ब्यूटिफुल only very few will go in the reverse direction and try to understand the true nature and acharya shankar writes a beautiful commentary for this special commentary you know what he says everybody wants to sail along with the current the way the waves are going this kaschit dhiraha that is mentioned by yama in this particular mantra is like a person who is swimming against the current against the wave kristi please understand you have the world will be going in one direction world will always go in the direction of pravritti margam only wherever you see all this capitalism marketing that this everything selling all products tell me is there any product in the world for you to realize atman in the world everything is about matter principle how to take care of body or take care of face car bangla everything money everything right the entire world 99.9 will going one direction you are the only person who has to understand the morning we saw no pitva mohamayim pramada madiram unmatta bhutam jagat you will have to understand this very clearly stand up against the way the world is going and go in the other direction nivritti go back and understand your true origin aham brahmasmi meenakshi mudunnid illaya that is called nivritti dharma and once you understand you establish yourself in the jnana you get moksha clear so the two points without karma yoga jnana yoga is all that you can write down is impossible without jnana yoga karma yoga is incomplete and we put a third slogan which is not there in the textbook because we'll keep piling new new statements what is the third principle without karma neither karma yoga nor jnana yoga is possible so start karma and what is how do we start our karma we are now devising step by step in the morning no 7:30 8:30 hari banama you are evening 10 to 11 we are doing a daily spiritual calendar so only we will give it. i don't want to give everything one go you will not be able to digest so what we will do is every day we have now done morning two minutes schedule you have described in 20 20 minutes 30 minutes subaram sir na morning rendu nimisham enna pannano na 20 minutes discuss pannukom now you are interested right all the steps you want to do in the morning right karagre so all that you will do no then also that no and ratnan chadurasham all those things you do and then one more thing is that tomorrow morning tell you one more thing to be done that is morning 2 to 3 minutes that's all like that i'll give you a package kiran goparajo 20 minutes you do every day morning 20 minutes evening you will see how nice your mind will start getting settled okay so that is daily discipline following karma first properly nrs clear hmm then shlokas 1 and 2 go to page number 4 all the all that you understood and is being revised here karjuna's confusions karma or jnana so what is the answer quickly can two people answer in the chat box what should you do suppose somebody comes says vote for karma yoga vote for jnana yoga what should you do one has to do both step by step so right answer is step by step you have to do both first step is karma second step karma yoga third step is jnana yoga so first karma then jnana very good very good lakshmi ram very good so all that is given merely studying this 
will give you 50% benefit slowly start owning this knowledge that should be like your daily uh, rama rama whatever it is all other your you know rap song bap song wap song all should go away na madhu hari na this song should come karma karma yoga gnana all this should be always coming in the mind from morning to night and that's why all the systematically we are putting tables pictures uh, you know are you liking this method or not to study bhagavad gita you tell me have you studied gita like this earlier few of you can you say this is not a new way to study gita and you are all able to, you are able to understand very clearly every chapter systematically now if you study chapter is in the mind correct ah very good ah very excellent good now from shloka 3 to 8 bhagavan is now emphasizing why you should become karma yogi you should know right now why we are doing what we are doing why we should your children will come and ask why should i do this why should i do sandhya vandanam why should i do puja why should i go to temple why should i do this vibhuti why should i do kumam why should i wear traditional dress at home all that question people ask right we should know why we are doing what we are doing and why our rishis have put a systematic way of life we will try and understand step by step so bhagavan is saying that path of karma or action this pravritti dharma is to be followed innately because that is our nature so far we have come and to convert karma to karma yoga there are various attitudes that you can have in the mind now subject we are going to come to subject now okay what is karma yoga once again all of you karma yoga is equal to right action plus right attitude action cannot change action will be the same but you can have different attitude depending upon your mental maturity yes or no now what are the different attitudes bhagavan is going to give us this is not very interesting each one is different right i'll see how our character will be exposed in this particular shloka we'll now understand this the first attitude bhagavan explained in shloka number 8 is called what niyat bhavana write down niyat bhavana means obligatory duties my bhavana attitude is i have been obligated to do these duties so let me do it and how does the obligation come obligation comes from five sources panchamaha yagna and who has asked us to do this it is our dharma shastram through the vedas bhagavan as lord of the universe has set a constitution and if you follow the constitution then you are on the safe side of the wicket yes or no it's called agnya agnya means what king will always give you instructions you have to follow instructions yes or no if you follow the constitution nagarat sir you tell me if you follow the constitution we follow the rule will you give will you get any award suppose they say in the us also for example you take if you follow lane discipline na if you follow lane discipline priya madam you tell me if you follow lane discipline at the, suppose you are going 20 miles radha sagar na i95 no you start one place go to the next place will the police give you an award you have followed the lane nicely will they give you award for that what they will do they'll say okay if you break the lane if you increase the speed limit if you over speed what will happen they'll be waiting with the ticket yes or no yes or no a rule is framed and especially in us we all live driven a lot no you all know moment police comes speed reduces by 10 miles immediately even though you drive at 50 miles you go down to 40 miles and we know correct ah when the police say run there go everybody is seen the speed come go down like in fear there is fear of punishment yes or no yes or no so for a simple lane road police you have got the fear because what you can end up even jail also now if the police is chasing you try to over speed they will chase you and then put you in jail correct ah like that bhagwan has made a discipline for us in the life if you follow the constitution that lane discipline if you follow properly you are not going to get any special award they won't do pumala ela poda matanga they won't give all this garland you will not get arrested that means what you will not get arrested in samsara chakram again the punishment for not following an agnya or a niyata bhavana he is getting like there you go to jail right you break the law 
if you break the law here you will end up once again in samsaram again and again are getting the point if you follow the law properly if you follow the constitution dharmam dharma shastram nida bhava if you do that then what is the benefit you will not enter into problem aa bel mujhe maar nahi hoga you will not face problem in life yes or no who wants to get in problem all of you please turn camera up so many people are not on camera ha huh? okay ah so this is called doing the duty out of fear varanatrajan purvatham purjaliya out of fear we are doing a lot of actions so out of fear when you are young actually for young children we say the bhagwan is looking at you don't tell lies bhagwan is looking to tell say the prayers bhagwan is looking at you wash your legs we say that no like that bhagwan no bhagwan krishna paramatma is saying niyatam karma kuru compliance very good but you see bhagwan and our shastras our acharyas our rishi the very 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 benevolent they say that even if you do out of fear and even though people may say that there is no benefit if the same karma is being done as karma yoga you will get a wonderful benefit called chitta shuddhi right now for doing your nitya karma itself whatever parayan you are doing whatever puja whatever sandhya vandanam whatever you are doing if you do it with the right attitude attitude that i am obligated to do i should do it it is my mountain discipline to do it if that bhavana with that mind i should not skip i may skip a meal but i will not skip my daily prayers see one thing you can do every day i study two shlokas of bhagavad gita one year i'll chant completely once then like that keep on doing chanting very very easy so you take a vow i'll do this two shlokas of gita that whatever happens you'll do it it is niyata bhavana you got the point so stick to that this is called agnya ishvara agnya now that will not last for long right fear will not last for long anything done out of fear will not last for long so bhagwan now says when you start maturing the attitude can move from one of agnya agnya means what quickly anybody agnya na na raja agnya indra agnya means what order very good excellent from being trying to follow an order and very you know in with lot of fear bhagwan says from agnya bhavana move to yagnya bhavana beautiful next shloka is coming shloka number 9 shloka number 9 talks about yagnya bhavana attitude bhavana is attitude karma plus bhavana is karma yoga same karma karma is same please understand the beauty is ravi ng the karma is same but the bhavana the attitude can convert the karma either as a binding factor or as a releasing factor if you have the right attitude same karma can be an agent to release you from samsara chakram if you don't have the right attitude it will be a bandhakam it will bind you are you all understanding is it too difficult can two people say what do you think understand same action can be both binding or a releasing factor depending on attitude it's all in the mind they say no it's all in the mind the mind has to be the switch has to be put properly in right direction then the same karma will release you from samsara so the second attitude is called yagnya bhavana or one of gratitude the first bhavana was one of fear like the police example i gave no one of fear so from one of fear mean daily actions like a punishment no many children say sandhya is a punishment daily mother is saying boom do 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 okay so the person will do something and come they'll not do properly also everything correct ah like very you know disinterested they will do because they don't understand the value of that it is more like punishment don't tell me vishnu sahasranamam na will keep going and they come back ah it is sahasranam and done கரெக்டா வெங்கட்ராமன் சார் கரெக்டா சின்ன வயசுல தான் பண்ணுவாங்க பீப்பிள் வில் நாட் டு சிஸ்டமேட்டிக்கலி ஸ்லோலி வித் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஷார்ட் கட் சீராம ராம ராமே தி ஐ சாண்டட் 3 டைம்ஸ் சோ ஐ கம்ப்ளீட் அது ஸ்லோகமே இப்படி வேற இருக்கு உங்களுக்கு சொல்றோம் சீராம ராம ராமே தி ரமே ராமே மனோரமே சஹஸ்ரநாம தத் துல்யம் தட் மீன்ஸ் வாட் லட்சுமி ராமோ 
it stands sri rama 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 three times tulya means equivalent it is equal to chanting sahasra nama thousand names of bhagwan vishnu ipdi irukku parunga enna ishwara solrar parameshwara ne shortcut kudukkarar parunga how our gods are helping us god parameshwara vishnu everybody know we are all lazy so parvati ki undu parameshwara nu undu advise pandrar enna parvati vacha keno pa yena nadha vishnu nama sahasrakam pattete arpandite nityam srotam ichchami aham prabho parvati asking parameshwara please give shortcut i want shortcut namlu kosam me amma illiya mother no mother wants to support the children so is going asking the supreme father please give shortcut to my children so he says okay i will tell you instead of you know spending 20 minutes chanting sahasra namam you should know meaning you should study bhashyam aachara bhashyam padikano so beautiful ah irukke enna nk vengitraman sir one day we will start sahasra namam bhashyam enna avyaya hak rendu page edara bhashyam aachara okay like that so shortcut sri rama 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 it pannu modalla slowa then the rama rama will go and create ruchi o rama ee rama enta ruchi rama the song is there no the rama nama itself the ruchi will come and automatically will then go and start chanting the song fully like that it will happen that is what is magic so next stage is one of gratitude that means what there is a wonderful cosmic cycle understand in that cosmic cycle we are a cog in that wheel you all understand no this you understand the concept where like a like a chain understand the link a chain in the chain link if one link breaks what will happen please tell me if one link breaks in a chain what will happen suppose you are a motor bike now is there any motor bike found without a chain tell me please the latest mercedes motor bike eduthukongala bmw motor bike ena yarala ottringa ba konjam automobile engineering paapo is there no longer chain ah ravi ji is saying what do they do they have got a no propeller ah very good ah okay this is good good thing to tell me okay most of the things have got chain ah huh? so unless the chain is complete the chain breaks then the entire vehicle will not similarly we are one of the link the entire cosmic cycle and bhagwan is going to say that if you don't do your duty properly as being a part of the whole cosmic cycle not only you are going to before get some problems for yourself but are going to disturb the world order we are all thinking sir what am i doing sir the world is working on its own please understand each one of your contributing in some small way to a great world order if you all pay, pray for peace if you all pray for happiness if you all pray for lokakshemartham slowly that message will spread more and more people do it more and more happiness peace will reverberate in the whole world sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrane pashyantu ha kashti dukha bhag bhavet say this prayer every day for the world peace keep on lot of peace required in the world right when you start doing that things will happen so bhagwan is saying now shloka number 9 from what earlier from agnya ishvara agnya it becomes ishvara yagnya right down from agnya to yagnya parunga akaram becomes yakaram and that becomes a very nice experience no more it is out of fear but as i am a responsible person i am gratitude i am grat i am having gratitude to bhagwan for making me a part of the cosmic cycle and so what is bhagwan saying yagnya arthat karmano nyatra loko yam karma bandhana tadartham karma kaunte ya mukta sangha samachara means what please understand anybody who does action in the world without having the attitude of yagna that means our yagna bhavana enna varu thendar your contributor net you should be a net contributor not a consumer unless you become a net contributor to society give back to society more than what you take yes we are taking a lot from people from earth from nature from many many things you take many things unless you give back to the world you don't become a contributor you will not be a yogi that yagna bhavana won't come 
So Bhagavan is saying, any action done without Yajna Bhavana, without the attitude of, what is Yajna Bhavana? Yajna means what? Yajna means offering to Bhagavan. Write down. The word Yajna, the root stands from the word Yaj. Now, Vengit Raman sir, serious students. Yajna comes from the word Yaj. Yaj Deva Pooja Yam. Yaj means Deva Pooja Yam. That means what? As an offering to Bhagavan. Offering doesn't mean you always keep offering like this in a no, home home. Like mentally, mentally you should know all my karma that I'm doing is an offering to Bhagavan. Yajyat karma karoti tatta dakilam shambhotavaradhanam. Beautiful shloka is there, right? Yajyat karma karoti, whatever karma I'm doing is an offering to Bhagavan. It's not that you should jump into the fire. Saudamani Madam. Yajna doesn't mean fire and you are jumping into fire. No, don't have a wrong understanding. You know. Yajna, what people think? Very home, um, big fire. This is, I'm beautiful. Bhagavan is going to say, what are different Yajna people do? I'm telling you, amazing chapter. Chapter 3. Is, see, every chapter is amazing. What to do? More and more detail it goes, more and more depth you will get. Such a beautiful chapter as you go forward. Ah, Japa Yajna will come later. Wait, wait. Venkat Raman sir, wait. Anyway, now, what is attitude? Any action. Now, please, now, can somebody summarize? So, I hope you are understanding. If an action is performed selfishly, for my own sake, for my own people, but not with an attitude of Yajna Bhavana, that which is what? Contributory thought. It will become binding. When I give Padavai Bhaga, you will be amazed how this shloka is constructed. So, Bhagavan is saying, better take to Yajna Bhavana when doing action. So either you do as Agnya, where Bhagavan's order, or do action as Yajna, as an offering to Bhagavan, as a part of the cosmic cycle, which is what? The entire world is dependent on each other. So Bhagavan saying, with that Bhavana, once that Bhavana comes in, that I will not do actions to bind myself, I will do actions as Yajna Bhavana, those actions you perform, once you decide, perform those actions for the sake of having been a part of the cosmic cycle without attachment, without attachment to fruit of results. Results will come. So whatever results come, you take it, but do it as an offering to Bhagavan. Ishwara, Ishwara Arpana Buddha Karma Kuru. That means what? As an offering to Bhagavan, you do your action. Simple, isn't it? Only bhavana mati boro. You know, simple idea. That means what you are going to do a job in the office. Let's say. You can ask, sir, how to offer the work in office to Bhagavan? Simple question you'll get, right? Should I offer my you know, salary to Bhagavan? Should I, should I say, Bhagavan, come and do my software? When you go and do work, you follow dharma. Write down. When you follow dharma, you are acting according to God's instructions and Bhagavan is present as Dharma. Please understand. Bhagavan is present as Dharma. I told you wonderful shloka. Ritakum satyam param brahma purusham krishna pingalam That satyam, that is manifested truth is Dharma. Rajasagar. So, once you follow Dharma, that means what? Don't break the law. Whether it is corporate law, or financial law, or whatever, whatever we are doing, don't break the law. First step. That means what? You are not doing anything wrong. You are offering. That means what? Whatever Bhagavan has put the path, you are following that. That is an offering to him. Suppose your parents say something. If you follow what your parents are saying, it is like an offering to them. They are very happy or not? I told my son he is doing this correctly. I am happy. Correct? Then Bhagavan will be very happy when you follow his instructions. That is offering. That is offering. When you are coming to puja, what Bhagavan says? Patram pushpam phalam toyam yo me bhaktya prayachati tadaham bhaktyu pahritam ashnami prayatatmanaha prayatatmanaha for a, from a pure hearted person. That's what Bhagavan is asking. Have the bhakti to Bhagavan and offer even patram pushpam phalam toyam. That means don't restrict. Bhagavan told only one patram means one leaf. Pushpa means one flower. Phalam means only one fruit. That one old banana fruit. Nah. Then throw him one drop of water. Nah. 
don't do that if you are capable do lot if you are not capable then do limited but what is important is bhakti please understand so another from another formula to this actions done without bhakti will be binding next everything is a law action done without bhakti will be binding action done with bhakti will release you from samsara chakra now you understand that attitude bhakti devotion to bhagwan extremely important same job you do with bhakti bhavana the pandramba i am doing this i am going and working na i am writing the new requirements for the new no strategy na ken na according to law i will do correctly i will follow bhagwan's instructions bhakti bhavana is there attitude is there work is worship so when you go to office work is worship do it correctly systematically it's not like this no nowadays in software companies i am telling you in my days i when i used to see all software engineers na ishwar sir na they will always be seeing something in internet da vaadam irupanga when boss comes near immediately they will put their you know that particular code and they see me they write the code have you seen this you understand what i am saying no everything yeah, all type sundar mahaga kada solrar see that means what normally you want to do relaxing but when boss comes you want to immediately see and so that's why they used to say managers should walk the floors na chetan sharma in software companies we ask our managers to walk the floor go around the floor and see if you go around then they'll start doing some work like that ah to not not total relaxing so please understand so when you are doing your work do with discipline do with attitude there is no offering to bhagwan clear eh? now how is this? this is what told in the shloka we'll do padavi bhaga anmaya and get the answer for the doubt here ejnyarthat karmana ha anyatra very important the yes mark is there no yes mark gives you akaram so ejnyarthat karmana ha anyatra lokaha ayam karma bandhana ha try to difficult shloka to understand it is very serious to study this shloka ओके तत् अर्थम तदर्थम कर्म हे कौंतेय मुक्त संगह समाचर क्लियर नो अन्वय नो डाउन अयम लोकः वेरी इज आ लोक लोकोयम दैट बिकम्स अयम लोकः अन्वय ओके अयम लोकः कर्म बंधनः अन्यत्र कर्मणः यज्ञार्थात Lakshmi Ramchandra, sir, are you able to get that? May I? I'll repeat. I am Loka ha Karma Bandhana ha Anyatra Karma na ha Egnyarthat Samachara Karma Tadartham Mukta Sangha ha He Kaunte ya. So Kaunte can be either in the beginning or in the end. Both are fine. What is He Kaunte ya? Who is Kaunte ya? मीन अयम मे हस्तो भगवान मे भगवत्तर मरगे अयम मे विश्व जोजगुंशिवामर्शन ऐ मीन दिसक रुद्र मीनिंग ऐ गिव यू दी वंडरफुल मंत्र एव्री वर्ड इज वेरी पवर्फुल ओके अयम दिस लोक हा वर्ड दिस वर्ड कर्म बंधन is bound by actions is a karmani prayogam very difficult to understand the way bhagavan has explained unless i tell in other way you will not understand so first follow how bhagavan has explained then i will tell you the other way to understand i am lokaha this world karma bandhana ha is bound by action here lokaha world means people loke janaha amar kosha says wherever lokaha comes substitute with janaha whenever Uh, context gives that's what uh, uh, amar simha says beautifully in amar kosha dictionary thanks in dictionary this world consists of people are bound by actions when anyatra anyatra very important anyatra means what in the case of any actions other than so you can do actions in one way 
you can do actions in some other way if you do action in some other way anyatra what is other than what karmana yagnyartha an action meant as an yagna or an attitude of yagna yagnyartha for yagna as yagna attitude of yagna so any action now now reconstruct this any action done by the people in the world other than an attitude of yagna bhavana will result in karma bandham you are understanding now clearly rajendra puri sir if one does an now i am putting in the proper active voice if one anyone who does an action in the world without yagna bhavana that means what only selfish attitude then those actions will result in binding of the person they will bind how how does it bind now by now you all do expert any action i do for myself i only should come again and what undergo the result saraswati jay kumar camera kade thungo face theri mating that is putting ah please okay very good no ah see if you are doing for yourself you have to undergo the result hindi saying is there no who knows hindi jc karni vc bharni correct yaha karta saha bhokta here who ever does has to undergo so bhagwan is saying if you want to be selfish and only be selfish then make sure you be born again and again to undergo your own actions result of the action because every action has got an equal and opposite reaction first part you understood now bhagwan is saying any action done without yagna bhavana will result in karma bandham clear so bhagwan therefore what should i do bhagwan therefore samachara samyak aachara now do well perform this now well what should you do now properly bhagwan is wonderful see he gives the reason he gives the instruction reason instruction upadesham samachara perform now well what karma action tadartham for that sake what sake mukta sangaha without what attachment so for the sake of attitude of yagna bhavana as a person who is involved in the cosmic cycle which bhagwan is going to elaborate later next few shlokas elaboration about how we are part of a cosmic cycle so for the sake of being part of that for doing your role for the sake of doing your role in the whole a whole cosmic sacrifice cosmic cycle with that attitude perform the action what tadartham two reasons one for not getting into samsara chakra again so that it is not binding tadartham so you want your action to not bind you for that sake then for you to play your part in the universal cosmic cycle of yagna for that sake you please perform action not for selfish goals tadartham means what anyatra na that means what not for other sake what is other there are two ways right one is what i can do for myself one what i can do for as a part of a cosmic cycle so you may ask sir if i do everything for other sake what will happen to me sir question will come no you do your job with the bhavana results will come and reach you results will always who or does the right action results will come to you not one or two hundred times it will come if you do dhanam people think if i do dhanam if you do donation for good cause atmanathan people think my bank balance is reducing actually it increased by 10 times within some time you will not know but that is how adrishta phalam will come when doing dhanam na varachandra ayyar you think my money is you know decreasing but actually money will increase how you do and see dhanam then you will know na huh? so singeri aacharya varu nalla sonnar or wonderful lecture he gave na rajendra sir said people think that no whatever is being told na that they will want to follow for example you put you put money in the bank you go to some other atm you are able to draw money or not somewhere yes or no pratyaksha pramanam yes or no similarly you do punyam you do dhanam shastram is saying that you will get 10 times more you will get sukham 
If you don't trust the shastras, but only trust what is what you see is what you get, then good luck to you. Please understand. What is the first qualification criteria for being a sadhak? What is the qualification criteria for being a sadhak? I am a sadhaka. I am trying to evolve spiritually. I told you many classes back. Write down today. A good disciple or a good sadhak is supposed to be Shastra Vishwasa Shali. Very good again. I'm happy. Correct. Shastra Vishwasa Shali. What Shastras are saying, I have got tremendous faith in that, should be your attitude. If Shastras say, do dhanam, you will get many times. You first do and see, no? Even if you don't get any return in this world, the punyam you get will follow you when you go to the next world. Please understand. After you kick the bucket here, neither your money, your position, your bangla, your car, nobody, nothing will come with you. What will come with you? Your punyam and your papam. Only though you have said Mahabharata, no, one dog was chasing Hidhishthira. No, sorry, you know, but you know, you remember or not? Huh? And what is the dog? What is the dog actually? Who is the dog? Anybody who knows? This is following, you know? Dharmam, Greta Yaman, Yamam is Dharma Raja. Your dharma, dharma only will follow you. Please understand. So when you perform action with the attitude of no offering to Bhagavan. So not only you get benefited, you benefit the world, you get punyam. Paropa karaya phalanti vrikshaha, paropa karaya duhanti gavaha, paropa karaya mahanti nadyaha, paropa karartham idam shariram. Why can't we have this attitude? We not have 24 hours, at least some time. Are you getting my point? You want to you know Subhashita? No, Raja Sagar, please, no Subhashita for the day. Paropa kar, can somebody write this? Paropa karaya phalanti vrikshaha. Why do fruit, fruits are given by the trees? Only sapra da. Do trees eat the fruit themselves? Somoji, tell me. Fruits give the, no, trees give the fruits for whom? Paropa karaya phalanti vrikshaha. For our benefit they are giving. Correct or not? Paropa karaya bhanti nadyaha. Why do rivers flow? That we get good water, drinking water. Paropa karaya duhanti gavaha. Most of the milk from the cow we are only taking. Why can't we do paropa karartha midam shariram? Why can't we do some activity to be a benefit to society? So, egnya bhava, egnya bhavana, please have that when doing action. That will release you step by step from the cycle of samsara. And once you understand this, what a janati, ichati, yatate. Don't forget what we learned in the morning. Once you know this, the desire to perform action like this should germinate in your mind and you should strive to do karma with yajna bhavana. Now finally, sir, can we solve the world problem as a single individual? You all say that, right? What is there, sir? If I do my part small, I am a small. They say, no, I am a small insect in the whole creation. They say, no, I am insignificant, sir. How does my action impact the world. Now I'll give the answer for that. See, to protect a big tree, what you need to do? If you want to grow a big tree, should you climb up the tree, tie some you know, rope or do what should you do? You tell me. You should pour water in the roots. Very good, Venkat Raman, sir. You pour water in the roots, then the tree will take care of itself. Yes or no? Butterfly effect. Correct. So, what does it mean? You offer your prayers to Bhagavan, who is the root of the entire universe. When you come to 15th chapter, Bhagavan is going to say, how the beautiful cosmos is created with the root. And Bhagavan is the ultimate root. So, you offer your prayers to the root, that is Bhagavan. What sloka I told you? Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha. Have, give that attitude to the root. Then that will spread. What water you offer in the root spreads the entire tree or not? Who gets the water? Leaf gets the water somewhere high up. Yes or no? Similarly, when you offer your right attitude, bhavana, your concern, your no prayers for betterment of the world, peace, harmony at the root by your prayers, they will travel to the entire universe and it will spread peace, harmony, happiness. Understanding what I'm saying?
So only when we go forward, Bhagavan is going to tell not only peace, harmony, happiness, your own existence, sustenance, the food that you get, is important for us to live, is because there is a cosmic cycle. You are not independent. Don't think independently you can do anything. Yes or no? In Arun Danda Pani, correct? Independent or namble, all of us can we do? We cannot do, right? The dependence is there. So make sure that you play your role. So far, it's clear. So what are the two bhavanas you have learnt now? Summary. What is summary? Take away. First, either you do your duty as agnya bhavana out of no the rule constitution, the police example. Don't forget fear of getting punished. That is why in Dharma Shastra I told in the last class, Akarane Pratyavayam. Parago. Dharma Shastra follows the Vedas and that is followed in Gita. What is Akarane Pratyavayam? If you don't do correctly, you will get punishment. Is Dharma Shastram. If you don't follow lane discipline, you will get fined. Similarly, don't follow karma, you will get fined. Dharma Shastram says, Karane Abhyodayam. There are certain actions when you do, they bring a lot of prosperity, progress. That is called Kamya Karma. All that you do. No, Ishta karma you do, no. When you do all this wonderful no, karma for your own benefit, it's called karane abhyudayam. Write down two dharma shastra vakyas. Akarane pratyavayam. Can somebody write? Akarane pratyavayam. Karane abhyudayam. So two types of actions broadly. One is called nitya naimitti karmam. The third is called kamya karmam. Purjita, understood the structure now of karma? Can somebody write chat box? No, Atma Nandilba. Akarane pratyavayam. Karane Abhyudayam. You understood or not? Anybody can answer. You can answer in chat box. Uh, too deep. Is it too difficult? Yes or no? Nobody is answering. Who is still writing? Huh? All of you are writing. Ah, Abba. Okay, very good. So, with this, today, two bhavanas, you choose. Depending on maturity for children, you can say, Bhagavan is watching you, so do your action properly. Slowly, maturity comes. You do the Bhavana. Clear? Now, I'll take some quick question. Anybody has got any problem in downloading the notes? I'll give you all the steps. What you need to first go and place the down, donate and download button. It's all donation only. Donate and download button in the what ebooks and AV section of website. Go there and select all the books or whatever books you want. And then you can complete the no purchase and then go to the final checkout. If you are in India, you can do razor pay and download the books immediately. If you are, if you are actually this, you are residing outside India, please go and pay offline either to bank account or through PayPal. Uh, what we told uh, at the rate of five dollars, five US dollars per book or hundred dollars for the whole set. At the back end, the routine will run or manually will enable you to fulfill the order and then you can download the books. Here, uh, anybody has got doubts? I will take two minutes to answer. Anybody who has paid but not placed the order? Quickly, anybody? Uh, explain offline payment again. Uh. Okay. So, offline payment is no whatever whatever value of, see, suppose you are residing outside India, you pay $5, 5 USD per book. Four books is $20. You go and pay through PayPal in US. You paid but not. Uh, morally, very good. Please put the order. That's what I am saying. You will do both. And, uh, even our uh, Rajan Chalapas are also paid, but he has not placed the order. Clear? Is he there in the class today? So, ah, uh, so Murali is paid now. Please put the order. Guru, then Murali, and make sure you connect your payment with the order. So, if the order is being placed in some other uh, email ID and the payment is some other email ID, put somewhere notes that that particular email ID is same as this ID. Na, na ken? Tamil film joke Mari Adida Ida Connect. You should not have a different ID there, different ID here. So I am not somebody will not know both IDs are only the same. If you put a different PayPal ID, make sure you connect it by saying that ID is this ID. So do that. No, no, this see donation earlier is donation. So once again, please do have the karma yoga bhavana. You pay for the books separately, donate and download. So don't go to historical reason. I paid that, I did that, and then also, please do separately. We don't have any historical thing. So make sure you pay now, and then you download. Clear? Huh? You can place order now. Any time you can place the order. Please go and place the order. And this beautiful mechanism, everything will be you know, taken care of. It will be zero-sum game. That will be you know, matched with your order, and you will get the books. How many of you downloaded books? You tell me. Let us look at people. How many have downloaded already? Put, put yes, yes. 
some people have done complete payment see so many have done very successfully it's a very easy for subaram sir easier kaliya process eh nice it is easy or not eh it's such a nice simple way to do it please go and do it clear so anybody has got any last see if you have got any questions you can contact me directly okay you can get my number from any of the coordinators because i am by god because i only built this shopping cart myself so i know what what happens if something is going wrong you send message to me directly get my number from one of the coordinators om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namaha hari om tatsat krishna 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 शुभमस्तु समस्त सन् मंगला नौ वी आर नाट गोइंग टू लिव यू विद इन लेवन अवर्स वंस अगेन भगवान इज गोइंग टू कम एंड से व्हाट किरण गोपराजो यू आर नॉट प्लेस ऑर्डर किरण गोपराजो यू आर पेड कैन प्लीज गो ना आई एम मॉनिटरिंग एवरीथिंग एवरीथिंग व्हाट एवर आई एम हैव थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स आई नो अबाउट आई जो नॉट लेट मी टेल यू दैट व्हाट यू आर डन व्हाट यू आर नॉट डन व्हाट यू आर डूइंग एवरीथिंग आई विल टेल यू प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड सो सो भगवान इज गोइंग टू कम बैक एंड से व्हाट What are all the values you need to build? That's a beautiful chapter. Study all these things. Twenty. Now call, count all the twenty. Tomorrow we'll finish twenty qualities. Okay. And also we'll start the next level of the daily routine. Now, Venkat Raman sir, you got Chaturdha Sharatma Purma. We are. We need another need Ratna Varna Meena Maga. Hello. We'll do the next steps tomorrow. How our life can be beautiful when you follow these steps is what we're going to learn. Clear? Hello. Is it simple or not? So far, the morning schedule is simple. Like Raja Gurudev said, Lakshmi Samudra, easier than Leela. Nothing should be like a punishment. Everything will be enjoyable. Clear? Huh? Om Shanti Shanti. Ah, Mahalayam. Correct. From tomorrow, Mahalaya Paksham is starting. Whoever has got Adhikari, Adhikari means who is supposed to do, please do Pitta Tarpanam every day without fail. Greatest opportunity for us to repay our debt in the Panchamaha Yagnam. Panchamaha Yagnam. What is the Panchamaha Yagnam? Brahma Yagnam, Pitru Yagnam, Deva Yagnam, Manusha Yagnam, and Bhuta Yagnam. In fact, Pitru Yagnam comes before Deva Yagnam. Enkei mukita tham sir. Shastra the prakaram mande Pitru Yagnam bandra bandha prada Deva puja bandno. Purni dilia. That is the importance of Pitru puja. Who is eligible? They should do. Other people. Yeah, morning every day. Matra Deva, that is not forget. Clear? Huh? Hmm. Correct. Brahma Yagna uh, supersedes everything. So okay, no problem. Say okay. Because Tarpana Mandra took over many years. Now, Karthal is not going to study. Venkat Ram sir, what is that? That is Brahma Yagna. Brahma Yagna does not mean Brahma Ji. Four phase Brahma. Brahma means Veda. Veda means Upanishad. Veda means everything together. Brahma means what? Veda, Tattvam, Tapo, Brahma, Brahma, Vipra, Prajapati. He. I am not going to ask. One day I will take. What is the meaning of Brahma itself? Okay. ओम शांति 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 ही